Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Mr. Batman here, as you might be able to tell. Uh, also known as Jim Barber, the pastor at Lake, out at Lake Branch Baptist Church. I need coffee. I haven't had any coffee yet this morning. Well, I'm going to make this really quick video in order to answer a whole bunch of questions that are coming at me all at the same time. And basically, they're variations of the same question. Okay. How can we know that homosexuality is good or bad? Well, first we have to know what the definitions of good or bad are. So, the definition of good is when something works according to its designed parameters. If you have a good computer, then guess what? It works. If you have a bad computer, if the computer's gone bad, it doesn't work. See how hard that is? That is elementary level stuff. Kindergarten stuff. Okay? So let's take this kindergarten level stuff and let's look at homosexuality. Is homosexuality good or is it bad? Well, what system do homosexuals use? They use the sexual reproductive system. They say they choose to have sex with people of the same sex. Great. So, does that break the system or enhance the system? It breaks it. Homosexuals cannot reproduce, not unless they leave homosexuality. That's a problem. So, since homosexuals cannot reproduce, then they have broken the sexual reproductive system. That makes them sexual perverts. Because a sexual pervert is any person who takes the sexual reproductive system and uses it in a way it was never designed to be used. Homosexuality, pedophilia, adultery, yeah, that's it too. Fornication, living with your girlfriend, boyfriend, mm-hmm, not good. Deforms or destroys the function of the system. All of those destroy the system. So, see how simple that is? Less than two minutes. With elaboration, I was able to give you the answer to good and bad and why homosexuality is absolutely bad. Now, the second thing is, since homosexuals cannot reproduce, how do they increase their numbers? How do they grow? They have to recruit. And they're damn good recruiters. They love, they use lovely colors and symbols, and they love fluffy, soft, furry things. Oh, did I say that? Yeah, I did. They're after your children, boys and girls. And you know what? They're coming at them at a younger and younger age. They're after your elementary school children. They've already got most of your high schoolers. They've got a, a big chunk of your elementary, excuse me, your uh, middle school. And now they're after the elementary. You know what? Hitler said this. You give me the next generation and I'll own the world. Hmm. Repent or perish. Repent and believe the gospel. 